All right, the season that was. Time for sports. My name's here. My. Yeah, that's right, Hudson. Uh, the inaugural victorious Royals season is in the books. And by all accounts, hockey fans on Vancouver Island enjoyed the return of the WHL. Sure would have been nice to see the Royals get their franchise first playoff win last night. But alas, as the saying goes, there's always next year. Unmistakable musical stylings of one Al Farabee, not even CFAX Radio's wake-up team, could wake up the Royals in Game 4 last night. Once again, it started out well for the home team. Zane Jones gets the shot on net, then rookie Ben Walker swoops in to make the deposit. Nice goal, but check out the celebration. Not quite sure what that is, but I like it. Moments later, a chance to make it 2-0. Logan Nelson has sprung loose, but Cole Shovel Dave shuts the door. Royals goalie Keith Hamilton made some good saves in the first period. This one was not one of them. He whiffs on the long slapper by Matt Needham. That puck needed to be stopped and we are tied at one second period. Was the Royals undoing all series last night? No different. Brendan Ranford, son of Bill Ranford, waits until now to score his playoff first. That would stand as the game winner 4-1. Was the eventual final a salute to the fans as season one is in the books. Here's Jordan Cunningham with your Royals recap. I thought all the guys battled hard all series, and uh, I mean, uh, I think for the most part we we did, we uh, worked as hard as we could, and that's all you can really ask for. It's what the fans asked for, and it's what was delivered. To uh, put together a, an entertainment package like this is wonderful. They put their heart into it, and I think next year it'll come together a lot better. It's a young team; they're still working towards it. In a league where upsets rarely happen, the Royals battled hard for four games but were bested by a deeper, more experienced, better Blazers team. Well, they deserved a win. Uh, you know, I liked our compete. I didn't think we, I thought we ran out of gas, you know, but they spent it and I think that's all we can ask. From the brand to the building to the boys on the ice, year one of WHL hockey has to be considered a success. I think we got more. I think we got more than that. And I think a lot of it is they marketed it really well. Just hearing people on the streets talking about it. I mean, you were seeing the jerseys all the way. Even today in the last day, watching the flags or the, sorry, the towels going out. Uh, it was fantastic. It was great. Uh, I've already bought our season tickets for next year. We have to support the hometown and hometown team. Even at the end there, you know, we lose and they give the kids a standing ovation. And and that's great. You know, they appreciate effort, and I think for the most part, our kids worked real hard. 20-year-old players come and go. Such is the cycle for junior hockey, but it's never easy for a coach. I've seen it now for many years. It's just a, it's a fact. It's a, it's a shock. It's reality. An emotional end, sealed with a handshake, and one final salute. Well, I had tears in my eyes, so uh, it wasn't fun, but that's how life is, and, and it's time to move on. Uh, it was a lot of fun to be here with the fans and everything, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, couldn't ask for a better place to play for my last year, for sure. It's gone by real fast, and uh, I'm going to miss it. Jordan Cunningham, CTV Sports, Victoria.